Hi there, this is David and welcome to Let's Play EVO Search for Eden. I thought that since we're kind of all under quarantine at this point because of the coronavirus that it might be fun to start up a new Let's Play. One from my childhood, a really odd game because back in the day, Enix made very strange games. Um, things like the Seventh Saga was just the tip of the iceberg. This is actually an action RPG, of all things, and uh, basically it starts off on Earth like four billion years ago or something, whenever there was just oceans and no land mammals or anything. Um, so you start off as a fish, and eventually you evolve into a mammal, or I think a dinosaur first, and then a mammal. You can evolve into a bird, you can evolve into a human if you want to. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, but it is rather difficult if I remember correctly. It's been ages since I've played this. We're talking probably middle school since I've played this game. Like 1994-ish. Um, I remember I played it once. I don't, I mean, I, I would play it again. Um, but like I would never go through and beat it again. I would just kind of tinker around with it, different evolutions and stuff like that. But I did beat it once. Um, at least. So yeah, basically we're going to be going through the history of Earth and playing EVO Search for Eden. Very, very strange game, very fun game. And this is an action RPG, and if you know anything about me, you know that I suck at action RPGs. So get ready to laugh along with me because this is you're going to be in for a bumpy ride, viewers. <laughs> So here we have Gaia, who watches over all life, including me. Many periods of time. Okay, a journey of change. I like how Gaia's hair is like the wind and the ocean and all that. It's kind of cool. I like it. Oh, she's not joking. It will not be easy. Oh, your father? Who's your father? God? Maybe the sun. I'm going to guess the sun. Oh, okay, you're in Eden. Awesome. Oh, great. I'm already a fish, and it took three billion years for my body to evolve just into this basic, basic fish. Well, thanks. Hopefully I can make it. So here we are in Chapter 1, The World Before Land. 500 to 450 million B.C. And here we have the map of the uh, world right here, and you can actually see the land right over there, so I don't know why it's at the world before land, but whatever. Anyway, we can only go into this one stage right now, so let's head on inside. The Ocean of Origin. Okay, so basically what we're going to do... Oh, hey there, jellyfish. Well, what's up? Oh, the fittest shall survive. It's like Darwinism. Oh, okay, what are the rules? Fight for survival and for food. Only move forward and never back. Unless you need to grind, of course. And evolve and become strong. Um, kind of, yeah, actually, I am. Oh. The weak and the flabby. I don't want to be weak and flabby. I'm going to kill you. So basically just attack using um, the Y button and then eat using the X button. And what you get here, you get evolution points. You get 10 evolution points and 2 HP each time that you defeat those guys. You can also go over here and you can eat seaweed and then the jellyfish respawn and all that. So you can grind here if you want to. I would not recommend grinding here right now um, because we'll be grinding later. Whenever it's a little bit more efficient to grind. Just go ahead and keep on killing these guys. Yeah, they're kind of killing me too. Here we are. But you can heal up easily enough. Well, there we are. That's literally the Ocean of Origin. These stages start off really, really basic, really, really small. So let's head over to the uh, next stage. The Cave of Guidance. And it does get a little bit harder here. Um, more enemies around. 
and some harder enemies inside as well. Okay, these are the harder enemies, and these guys actually take three hits to kill. So just go after them. I guess they're eels or something. But we get 15 evolution points for defeating them. Let's see, just whack this guy. Bam! There we are. And still the two HP. Yikes! This is where I'm going to want to grind. Um, and I'll be doing grinding off-screen, of course. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, the sea cucumbers. The angler's horn attracts enemies because of its great light. Okay. Why would I want to attract enemies? And once you cross the third volcano in the sea, you're going to be on land, so you cannot come back into the ocean. Oh, fish to maybe evolve into amphibians or reptiles? I guess amphibians first. Yeah, a new world. Let's just eat them because you only get HP for it. What's this thing? Huh. Eat that, too. Oh. Well, what is it? This must be Gaia. Oh, okay. Or it's Crystal. That works, too. Oh, okay. Great. So evolving your jaws will increase your biting strength. Evolving your body increases your defensive power. Your horns will increase your attack power. And your hands, feet, and dorsal fin, as well as your tail, will increase your hit points, uh, agility, and strength. Got you. Yeah, but be careful in how you evolve. Right now, as a fish, pretty much just take the best evolutionary path and you'll be fine. But later on, as you develop into more complex creatures, developing one thing will decrease another. So do be careful of that. So if you hit the select button, we can look at some various things here. A record of evolution. Um, we don't have any records, so yeah, don't even worry about that. Sure, whatever. Oh, let's just end this. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see what capability does. So this gives you all of your, um, your stats, essentially. So that's everything there. And then here is how we actually evolve. So right now you can't evolve your neck or the back of your head because you're a fish, and you don't have a neck or a back of your head, I guess, but you can evolve your jaws, um, and that's going to be the first evolution that I want to grab is... Zen... I'm not even going to try. These jaws for 800 points, but I can't do that right now. Horns, if I recall correctly, are rather useless, because you spend the evolution points on them, and then um, they can actually break, so you don't want to uh, do horns right now. Let's just get out of there. Uh, let's see, for body, increasing body size will help with your HP. The shell body or the scaly body will increase your defensive power. Hands and feet, uh, these are basically fins that you can grab to increase your strength. Uh, let's see, dorsal fin, uh, these increase your agility, I imagine. Tail also increases your agility, I'm pretty sure. But again, you really just want to go with the best evolutionary capabilities that you possibly can right now. So, what I want to do is hang out in this cave and grind um, until I hit 800 points. It shouldn't take but 10 minutes or so, and then I will meet you back here. Okay, I got that taken care of, so let's go ahead and evolve. Let's see, evolution, jaws, and I want these ones. Yep. Cool. Yeah, look at my face. It completely does not match the rest of my body because, you know, only my jaws evolved. But anyway, now we're dealing five damage a pop rather than um, just the one damage. So that really does help with survivability and just efficiency in general. So now that we've cleared that stage, let's move on to this stage over here. The Cave of Temptation. Huh. Bam! Uh, get over here. I don't want these guys to hit me. Okay, it looks like they kind of swam off the screen or something. Bam! Yeah, these guys are assholes because they split into two. And trying to fight them whenever you don't have these, these, uh, these better jaws is so frustrating and they will kill you. 
So, try not to, yeah, because you need to hit him twice with the, um, with the regular draws, and then they split, and you need to hit him again, and it's just like, oh my god, it's just terrible. Hey, we got him. We'll eat you alive. Oh, okay, a red crystal. Ooh, a strange creature. <laughs> really? Well, let's give it a shot. Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, cool. I'm like this uh, sea snake now. Very nice. Let's look at our evolution. Okay, so it looks like um, we can't actually evolve into this strange, or we, we can't evolve out of this strange creature right here, but look at my HP right now. It's 100. That's really freaking cool. Grab those, and you're so much faster too. So you could use this as a grinding spot as well if you wanted to. Let's see, eat these damn things. Get over there. No! Okay, perfect. Okay, let's just slyly... Urgh. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, so basically that red crystal, it's only a temporary evolution. Do not worry, you're not going to lose what you evolved into. You're not going to waste, you know, your, your time in that form right there. Um, so don't worry about that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on. Let's see. There we go. So this must be the first volcano. Let's head on inside. The Ocean of Teridus. Huh. Oh no! They all ran away! Get back here! I want to eat you! Yikes! All these asshole fish. Get over here! I guess I'm not fast enough. Maybe I need to upgrade my fins or something, and then they'll, and then I'll be able to catch them. Or not. Yikes! Die! Die, monster! You don't belong here! Damn you! Yikes! Eh, okay. Oh, a wall of bubbles. Huh. How unusual. Okay, so I guess we can't go it this way. Do I need to go all the way back? Huh. Yeah, basically we're just going to be chasing these guys because I don't have enough evolution points to evolve into any kind of faster fish right now, and we can't get past this wall of bubbles either. Yorks! Oh, another wall of bubbles. What the hell? Urgh! <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? Oh! An explosion? Yikes! Ah! Run for your lives! Holy crap! Remember what I said about this place being, or this game being hard? My god, I'm only at 9 HP right now. Run for your life! Ooh, that was scary. Ugh, but at least the uh, second volcano has opened up, and we're going to be tackling that one next time. Oh, let's play EVO Search for Eden. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.